A document sent from a CDC in Harbin City to high-level officials shows that 34 locals tested positive in a CCP virus antibody test in Harbin's Dawai district on April 10th. But the province's health commission reported only one case for the whole of Harbin City. That brought the total number of confirmed cases in the city to two, not including asymptomatic and imported cases. To estimate the real number of infections in Harbin, we can use the figure from the Dawai report and compare it to the city's total population. Dawai district has a population of around 800,000, and Harbin has a population of 11 million. That's 14 times more. That means if Dawai district had 34 cases on April 10th, we could estimate more than 400 cases for the whole of Harbin city. That's 200 times the official number announced for that date. I don't read state-run media anymore. I got this information from influencers on social media. In Harbin and the surrounding areas, there are 182 virus hotspots. These places, including my neighborhood, are very dangerous. I am so scared, really scared. An exclusive internal recording of a meeting at a main Harbin hospital, obtained by NTD, reveals that the epidemic situation in Heilongjiang is now the worst in the country and cases are still increasing. In the meeting, one staff member said that many infections are related to asymptomatic cases and areas of Harbin city are going to be locked down again. The hospital warned staff not to eat out since many recent cases are connected to people eating out. One Harbin resident told us she feels the situation has worsened. It feels like the epidemic has spread and is not under control at all. Chinese state media reported on April 22nd that non-residents can no longer enter residential areas. Even vehicles registered in other places can't be there. Mr. Kong, an owner of a factory in Harbin, said the government doesn't have any relief policies. So many shops and factories in Harbin have been forced to close down due to high rent and no business. The epidemic situation is really serious. My factory is now closed. There is no way it can reopen. It's been three months already. We wanted to open it up again, but the epidemic came back, so we closed again. Such a big loss. In recent days, videos show areas being closed down again. Netizens say the second wave has arrived. There has never been such an expensive price for vegetables, and people's income in the Northeast is low. The testing fees, isolation fees, and treatment fees should not be borne by our citizens. They should be covered by the government. It's forcing people to commit suicide because there's no other way out. Reporting by Yuning Huang and Sherwin Rong, NTD News.